Well, first off, uh, I got a couple questions I always like to ask of former players. First, uh, what, what was your best football moment while you were at BYU? Uh, I would have to say the season in general, uh, uh, my senior year. Uh, I think going 14-1 was an uh, accomplishment that I uh, can't hardly argue with. Uh, and then just, you know, just the camaraderie and the sacrifice that you, know, you made with essentially 85 other guys. Uh, you know, we probably weren't the most talented team in the world, but uh, we didn't work hard and we worked together and we depended on each other. So when you can get that many guys uh, to come together and, and, and do something like that, that was, you know, to me, that's special. And uh, that would probably be up there with my, one of my most memorable moments there. Okay, and uh, about off the field away from football, what what would you say was your best uh, non football moment? Uh, and I was, you know I don't know if I can pinpoint uh, uh, one situation on that. Uh, you know, coming from Memphis, uh, not really knowing much about the Mormon religion, uh, coming out there it gave me an opportunity to step outside of what I was, the way I was raised, and, and, and uh, a lot of the beliefs I was brought up in to just see a different uh, aspect of life uh, and where I didn't actually convert and join the Mormon church. It was, it was you know, very unique and a very good experience to to be able to to see a different uh, religious belief and, 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 you know, coming from a single parent home and, and the family foundation is so apparent in the Mormon church to, to see a different uh, side of life. It was good, I and mean, you know some of the values that they have, the family values, are things that I've incorporated in my life, and I use to this day. So I, I would guess just you know the people and 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 just you know the openness and and uh, and, and the family value and, and foundation uh, that I got a chance to to experience and be around and learn. You know, was was, was probably something that I'll always keep with me. Okay, well, great. Yeah, sounds like you had a great time there. Uh, you mentioned the 1996 team, and one of your teammates that year, I mean, as you mentioned, there's so many of you guys there, I'm not sure how many, uh, if, if you got to know him very well, but one of your teammates that year was Ben Cahoon. Yeah, I thought yeah. And, uh, yeah, he's now the wide receiver coach at BYU, which is, as I understand, the same position you coach there at uh, Washington State. I didn't. I wasn't aware of that. I knew Coach Reynolds was there, and several of the guys that you know was either on the coaching staff or that I played with, you know, had some kind of affiliation or role with the uh, with BYU. Uh, of course, I knew Robert, uh, and he and I had talked at, at one point, uh, <laughs> trying to get me to come back there uh, when he left Texas Tech. Mm-hmm. But uh, I didn't know. I didn't know Ben was on their, their coaching staff. That's awesome. I, I look forward to seeing him pregame. Yeah, it's it's his second year as the receivers coach. He he was playing in Canada for quite a while, and right after he retired from there, uh, BYU picked him up. That's uh, awesome. They couldn't have found a better person. I mean, Ben was a talented guy, but you know he was even more uh, a better person. Yeah. Do Do you have any stories of him from back in college? With the two of you? Uh, I remember we were out doing, I think it was 707, and uh, uh, Steve had thrown a post, and he freaking dove in and caught the ball and then did a, a forward flip all in one motion, and Tim McTyre was like, nah, that ain't fair. <laughs> <laughs> that was probably my 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 last thing remember, uh, uh thought of Ben as a player. Ben was one of those silent assassins. He never really spoke much, but his play... Play uh, used to yell. Okay, and how much, uh, how connected are you still with BYU and the football program there? Uh, you know, not much. Uh, with you know, with virtual with what I do, you know, every time that there's a reunion or or they extend invitations to come back, you I know, mean, I'm usually kind of kind of occupied on those the same day, so it it doesn't make for make for uh, plenty of opportunities for me to get back and, you know, kind of reflect with my former teammates, uh, which is un unfortunate, a uh, part of this business. Uh, I was at East Carolina last year, and uh, Brian Mitchell was on the staff, so our D 
defensive staff got a chance to swap ideas with them last year. But, you know, me being on the offensive side of the ball, I, I never really got a chance to see those guys or go back. Yeah, you mentioned uh, uh, Brian Mitchell there at at uh, East Carolina. Did your careers overlap at all at BYU? Uh, Brian actually told me. Uh, I played with his brother Patrick. My sophomore year was Patrick's senior year. Okay. My freshman and sophomore year, uh, you know, it was Patrick's junior and senior year. So I mean, that's how I, be, uh, I got introduced to Brian. And then, you know, obviously once he got done playing in the NFL and came back. Uh, he uh, finished out his degree there and then immediately joined the coaching staff. So uh, Brian was a, a huge mentor to me uh, when I was at BYU, both he and his brother. Uh, and, you know, we will be lifetime friends. Well, good. That, that's good to hear. Although you know, Turkey probably won't be cheering for me this weekend, but I won't hold it against him. <laughs> uh, now, when you were at Texas Tech, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but you became... You you were affiliated with the program for a while, and you didn't become an assistant coach until two thousand eight. Right. And when when you did so, you inherited, uh, I guess basically, the best wide receiver in the nation, uh, Michael Crabtree. Yeah, that wasn't a bad way to get started, huh? Yeah. <laughs> and now you're you're coming in here at Washington State, and from what all what I understand, uh, you're inheriting a, a pretty good uh, talent in Marquise Wilson. You want, you yes, to... it is. Uh, you know, him and Crab are a lot, uh, a lot different, uh, both personality and the way they play. But both are very talented young men. Uh, it'll be, uh, you know, you know, this season will be fun for me uh, to see how far, you know, you know, Marquise and I can can can, can kind of grow and, and, and help each other. Uh, you know, I mean. You know, Crab was a little bit more established. Uh, by the time I got there, Lincoln had did a great job with him his, his first year playing. And, you know, I was with Sonny Dykes and, and, and Leach in the recruiting process of Michael, uh, uh, getting them, and, you know, getting them to commit and come to Tech. But, uh, you know, Lincoln did a great job with him his first year and, you know, passed them off to me. And at that point, it really went, you know, I was really more just maintaining everything than uh, trying to get some, uh get everything established for her. with Marquise, you know, Coach Levy has done a great job with him in the past and now it's just, you know, trying to get him comfortable and and, 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 and merge his talent and, and what we do with, with the offensive system and trying to bring the best out of both of us. Oh, good. Um, now, BYU's got uh, a couple of pretty good receivers that they like. Uh, I don't know how much you've been able to you know, when you watch film, I, I'm pretty sure most of the time you're watching film with the BYU defense, not the BYU offense. But have you been able to uh, watch any of Cody Hoffman or Ross Epo? And uh, how how might they compare with uh, Wilson and also Crabtree? You know, I'll be honest with you, I haven't uh, had a chance to watch any of their offensive stuff. Uh, I've been more consumed with, with uh, the two corners and the safeties. Uh, the safety and the cat that they have on the uh, on the defensive side of the ball. So, uh, in fairness to those young men, and in fairness to Ben, uh, I really couldn't answer that question. Okay. Uh, from what our defensive uh, staff has said, you know, they're very talented uh, and and they have the capability to make big plays. But outside of that, you know, beyond all truthfulness, that's all I know about those cats. Well, yeah, I thought it wouldn't hurt to ask, though I assumed that was probably the case. But uh... <laughs> you know, hopefully, I, uh, Thursday night I won't learn more about them. 